never forget just sitting there for an hour and a half with my hands in my lap. And then I began to cry. I had to get up and go home. I've begun to cry a lot lately. Well, I cry a lot, too. I I'm a big crier. This is something very recent with me, this bursting into tears at the slightest thing. Well, I cry all the time, a any little thing. All my brothers, my brothers-in-law, they're, they're always telling me what a good-hearted guy I am. Well, you don't get to be good-hearted by accident. You, you get kicked around long enough, you get to be a, a real professor of pain. Well, I know exactly how you feel. And I also want you to know I'm having a very good time with you right now and, and, and really enjoying myself. So you see, you're not such a dog as you think you are. I'm having a very good time, too. So there you are. So uh, I guess I'm not such a dog as I think I am. You're a very nice guy. I don't know why some girl hasn't grabbed you off long ago. Well, I don't know either. I think I'm a very nice guy. I also think I'm a pretty smart guy in my own way. Excuse me. You know how I figure two people get married and are going to live together 40, 50 years, so it's got to be more than whether they're just good-looking or not. And now, you tell me you think you're not so good-looking. Well, my father was a real ugly man, but my mother adored him. She told me how she used to get so miserable sometimes, like everybody, you know? And she says my father always tried to understand. Now, I used to see them sometimes when I was a kid, sitting in the living room, talking and talking, and, and I used to adore my old man because he was always so kind. That's one of the most beautiful things I have in my life, the way my father and mother were. And my father was a real ugly man. So it doesn't matter if you look like a gorilla. See, dogs like us, we ain't such dogs as we think we are. 